Welcome to Civil Today. Tenth new page, Bill Wright. Today in this video we will see how to calculate the self weight of slab, beam, column, and footing. In addition to this, we will also see how to calculate the self weight of main wall load, partition wall, staircase load, parapet wall, and sunken slab load. Let us start the video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to Civil Today and support us. First is self weight of slab. Sulfate. Sulfate is nothing but volume into unit weight of material used. To find the sulfate of slab, multiply the thickness of slab with unit weight of material used. Here material used we are taken as RCC. The thickness of slab is taken as 130 mm here. So 0.13 multiplied with unit weight of RCC that is material 25. We will get this value from IS875 part 1. We will get 3.25 kN per meter square as a self weight of slab. This is a self weight per meter square length. If we need the weight of the entire slab with including width and length, then just multiply self weight of slab per square meter with length and width. The length is taken as 6 meter and width is also taken as 6 meter. Then we will get a self weight of entire slab as 117 kN. It is in kN. If we need the kN to kg, then multiply with 101.97 kgs. Then self weight of slab in kgs will get as 11,930 kgs, which is nothing but 11.93 tons. Next is self weight of beam. Self weight of beam, which is equal to width of the beam into depth of the beam into unit weight of material used. Here the width of the beam is taken as 300 mm and the depth of the beam is taken as 450 mm. So 0.3 multiplied with 0.45 into unit weight it is 25 for RCC from IS875 part 1. Then self weight of the beam will get it as 3.37 kN per meter. This is self weight of beam per meter length. If we need the self weight for entire beam then just multiply with length of the beam. Here the length of the beam is taken as 6 meter so multiply by 6 we will get 20.22 kN as the self weight of the beam. It is in kN. If you want in kgs, just multiply by 101.97. Then we will get self weight of beam in kg as 2061.83 kg. That is nothing but 2.06 tons. Next is self weight of column. Self weight of column which is equal to length of the column into width of the column into depth of the column into unit weight of RCC. That is material. Here the length of the column is taken as 400 mm and the width of the column is also taken as 400 mm. So 0.4 multiplied by 0.4 into depth of the column that is floor height 3.6 here taken. So 3.6 into unit weight of RCC 25. We will get self weight of column as 14.4 kN. If we need the self weight of column in kg multiply this 14.4 kN with 101.97. Then we will get self weight of column in kg as 1468.36 kg that is 1.46 tons. Next is self weight of footing. Self weight of footing will take it as 10% of unfactored column load. Here from this we got the self weight of column as 14.4 kN. So the self weight of footing which is equal to 10% of 14.4 will get 1.44. Then self weight of footing which is equal to 1.44 plus 14.4 will get 15.84 as a self weight of footing. It is in kN. If you want in kg, just multiply by 101.97. Then we will get the self weight of footing in kg as 1615 kgs. That is 1.61 ton of weight. Next, we will see how to calculate the self weight of staircase. In staircase, we have to calculate the load on two parts. That is for going slope area is going here and the horizontal is landing for landing separately. So first we will see for going. The load for going that is self weight of vast slab. Vast slab is nothing but in the going area the sloped slab is nothing but vast slab. The vast slab thickness is taken as 150 mm and the riser is taken as riser. The height of the step is taken as 150 mm and the thread that is width of the step is taken as 250 mm. First we will find load on going. Next we will find load on landing. For going load 
the weight of vast slab and the weight of steps will come for landing only weight of slabs will come so for going the self weight of vast slab which is equal to vast slab thickness into density or unit weight of material used on slope and on the horizontal the self weight of vast slab is taken as under root of r square plus under root of t square divided by t here r is riser and t is thread so self weight of vast slab will get it as thickness of vast slab we taken as 150 m so 0.15 into density rcc is a material we are using so 25 multiplied with under root of 0.15 square plus 0.25 square whole divided by 0.25 that is riser and thread then we'll get self weight of vast slab as 4.37 kilo newton per meter square length this is the self weight of this portion we got us the slope portion next self weight of steps we have to find in the going self weight of steps which is equal to riser by 2 multiplied with material using the riser is taken as 150 mm thick so 0.15 divided by 2 multiplied with unit weight of rcc 25 we will get 1.875 kilo newton per meter square then total dead load on the going will get it as the self weight of vast slab and the self weight of steps if we add this, we will get 6.25 kN per meter square as a total dead load on the going. Next, after going, weight on landing. For landing here, the only self weight of slab will come. The thickness of landing slab is also taken as 150 mm. Then the self weight of landing, which is equal to thickness of landing slab into density of material used. The thickness is 150, it is 0.15 multiplied with the density of material rcc material is used so 25 then self weight of landing we will get it as 3.75 kilo newton per meter square this is how we calculate the self weight of staircase next is self weight of sunken slab the sunken slabs are commonly seen in toilets bathrooms utilities etc the self weight of sunken slab which is equals to slab thickness into unit weight of the material used the sunken slab thickness we usually take it as 200 mm so 0.2 multiplied with unit weight of material the filling material that is here 8 we took this value may vary based on the material we are using and this value will get from is 875 part 1 here we will get the self weight of sunken slab as 1.6 kilo newton per meter square next if we need the weight of the entire slab then just multiplied with length and width here the length is taken as 3 meter and width is also taken as 3 meter so self weight of the entire sunken slab will get it as 14.4 kilo newton it is in kilo newton if you want to convert to kg we should multiply with 101.97 then we will get 1468.36 kgs is a self weight of the sunken slab that is 1.46 tons of weight next self weight of main wall and partition wall self weight of wall which is equal to wall thickness into wall height into unit weight for main walls the main wall thickness into main wall height into unit weight of a material using self weight of main wall which is equal to usually we will take the thickness of main wall as 230 mm so 0.23 meter multiplied with wall height here 3.6 the floor to floor height we taken as 3.6 and the depth of the beam that is here 450 mm so the height of the wall will get it as 3.6 floor total floor height minus of 0.45 that is depth of the beam then we'll get a height of the wall from here to here multiplied with unit weight of material used here the unit material used is brick so 22 then self weight of main wall will get it as 15.94 kilo newton per meter square this unit weight of brick it is 22 we'll get it from is 875 part 1 next self weight of partition wall which is nothing but partition wall thickness into partition wall height into unit weight of the material using for partition wall usually we take it as 100 mm thick so 0.1 meter and the wall height if the beam is running along the partition wall then we'll we will subtract the depth of the beam if not we use the floor height as the wall height that is 3.6 multiplied with unit weight of brick that is 22 then we will get self weight of partition wall as 7.92 kN per meter next is self weight of parapet wall self weight of parapet wall which is equal to parapet wall thickness into parapet wall height 
into unit weight of material using usually we will take the thickness of parapet as 200 mm and height of parapet as 1.2 meter so here wall thickness is 0.2 into height is 1.2 meter into material brick we are consider so 22 then we will get self weight of parapet as 5.28 kilo newton per meter this parapet wall load is applied as udl on entire beam below if you have any doubt let me know in comment section thank you for watching see you on the next video